Hello, welcome back to my channel. Look at this beautiful mane I have on my bed. First things first, I cannot keep living in this house and not do nothing to my head. Like, what am I supposed to do? So, I think it's time to do a style. So to get started, I went ahead and blow dried my hair a few days ago. Um, I've been kind of rocking it in this style for a minute, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and brush it out because, because I've been wearing it like this. It does have a few tangles in it. So I'm brushing it out with a wide tooth comb just to make sure I am free of all issues. And then I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair into three sections. So two in the front and then just put everything in the back in the back i actually just recently dyed my hair blonde so that's why my roots are so black i've only had my hair blonde for about three months now and as I, you can see my hair is sectioned off i'm going ahead and sectioning the front section even more just so i have three specific rows of bantu knots So I went ahead and separated my hair into three different rows and once I have these separated into three different rows I'm going to take that lower row and I'm going to separate it into two squares just so I have two separate bantu knots there. I'm going to put this piece away. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you all the products that I will be using. They will be in the description box as well. These are all of my go-to products when I'm doing my hair. Twist outs, braid outs, whatever. This is my favorite oil right now. Curl activator. All these products will once again be in the description box below. I like these because they're very moisturizing for my hair. As you can see, I've dyed my hair blonde and it helps just keep the moisture, moisture in, lock it in. So as you can see here, I went ahead and brushed the product throughout my hair. And then I'm twisting the hair around itself. So I'm just twisting it backwards. And then I'll wrap the hair around itself at the base. I try not to make it too tight because then I won't be able to sleep comfortably. It is a little out of frame, so I do show this a few different times. Um, I struggled with getting the right angle on the camera. I forgot that I was doing one of the most difficult things to my hair to show on camera, so I apologize for that. Um, but as you can see, I just twist it around. I'm going to show you once again with this front piece. What I'm going to do different here, especially because it's on my edges, is I'm going to put that um, Shine Jam edge control here. And I'm going to brush it back with an edge brush. I'm not really giving myself edges or slicking my edges. I'm just kind of smoothing them out so that they don't lay funny while they're in the band. Okay, so as you can see, I have now completed those two first rows that I made, and I'm now in the center of my head. Because of how my hair is, I had to end up making some triangle parts there, so I'm just going to separate the, the hair into a front and back section, and then I'm making a triangle part in the front as you can see. Now I'm going ahead and adding the products to my hair, which is the silkening stretching cream and then I add the curl activator product on top of that we don't have to do and once again I'll add the shine jam as an edge control I brush it through just making sure all the product is through the hair and is completely coated especially in the front I want to make sure that my hair is as saturated as possible so the curls are much more defined in the front brushing it out with my edge brush making sure it's smooth and I'm going to go ahead and start twisting the hair around itself. As promised, I'm showing you guys a better angle. So right here, you can see I'm twisting the hair around, just completely around. I'm adding more product as needed. If your ends are as dry as mine, or if they have a little damage from heat damage, then go ahead and put more product to make sure that they're going to lay smooth. And then I'm just wrapping it around itself. I try not to make it too tight around my head but in the front sometimes I do tend to make them a little tighter just so that the roots are as smooth out as possible. 
and then I'm going to secure it with a rubber band. Some are secured with rubber bands or bobby pins, whichever one you have more of, just use that because it's going to create the same hole. And I'm just showing you up close what the knot looks like. Here is my front half of my head complete. The back is tapered into a bob shape as I mentioned before. So that's not going to take as long. I'm showing you how I do the last bantu knot in the back because it's really, really short. I'm taking a lot of product so I can hold that hair and make sure it's smooth. Brushing it out and then I'm just kind of going to twist it. I only used the stretching cream on that because I wanted to make sure that it had a little bit more length to it. But they all ended up turning out the same and twisting it around itself. It wasn't really even a full knot. I just kind of put some bobby pins on it and hoped it hold, held some kind of a curl. Now my bantu knots are complete. I'm going to put some oil on them and I'm going to bed. So as you can see, I have triangle parts. They're not perfect. You don't have to be perfect. They just have to hold your hair inside and then put some oil on your scalp just to make sure that it's gonna promote hair growth and stimulation on your edges because you do have a lot of tension on your edges and go to bed so next is the takedown of my bantu knots as you can see here i'm just kind of twisting them out and pulling them i'm not really going against the grain i'm just twisting the opposite way of how they're set and then i'll pull off the rubber band or i'll take the rubber pin off and i'm just doing that all throughout my head What I'm doing now is making sure I took them all out, running my hands throughout the sides, and then I shake them out just to make sure that they kind of loosen up a little bit. I'm going to take some oil on my hands and separate them. I don't like to separate my bantu knots too much when I'm doing them. I try to separate maybe twice and then maybe a third time, but ensuring that I'm twisting around my finger to keep that curl. Um, the bigger sections, I may separate them maybe six times, but I truly don't like separating the bantu knots too much just to ensure that I get multiple days out of this. I am also separating and parting my hair where it's already naturally parting from when I detangled my hair. So sometimes you'll see me doing it myself if I notice that it's a big chunk of hair. If you struggle with overly separating or not knowing just how much to separate, follow the natural parts that are in your hair when you're detangled and that will make your styles last longer and it will also help you control the frizz and the volume and body of your style. It's always easier to add to a style than to remove. All right, so now my hair is perfect and all separated. I'm just going through and adding a little volume with a wide tooth comb pulling out my roots to get my hair is a little too dense and I wanted to make sure that it is fluffed out picked out and it has a nice shape and style every time i wear this style i'm told i look like shirley temple or somebody's auntie and i kind of do look like somebody's auntie but i love how this style makes my curls pop especially now with this color in my hair it just really makes the whole definition of the curl look so much better i'm going through and slicking my edges i typically try to do this but it doesn't usually work i don't have a good edge control that i use if you have a great edge control that will hold please let me know in the comment box below because i honestly have been struggling to find a decent edge control that will hold my edges after i style them like this um and i'm just kind of swooping them on both sides just in case i switch my Part, I was thinking about doing it in the middle and then I ended up switching my part to the side as you see. Every time I do my hair in a twist out, braid out, bantu knot, especially when I don't know how I want to style my hair, I try to part it all originally in my side part and middle part. So if I do change my mind the next day, I can easily part it without having to alter my style. After I made the decision of using a side part, I have to put some bobby pins on just so I can hold my curls in place and ensure that they are actually 
falling over my eye or falling to the right or left, whichever part I decide to choose that day and give off that illusion of it being a side part and giving a little style and shape to my hair. The final step is to slick my edges down and add a little cute swoop to the side there. Pull it behind my ear or bobby pin it to hold that hair in place. And I am all complete. All right, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been my Ben to Not install and takedown. Um, this video was just kind of spur on the moment, but I think it came out really cute if you didn't know or didn't realize I did dye my hair blonde. And so it's been you know, a nice little journey. I enjoyed this. I've been considering cutting my hair short, but I think I can just do Bantu knots and just do a little style like this and be okay. I've also filmed this makeup look as well. Also, I would like to thank you guys for watching, staying with me throughout this whole entire journey. I have been on a little bit of a hiatus, but I will be coming back to the screens soon with more content. I have videos and so many things and ideas planned. Um, so please stay tuned. It's been a lot of transitional phases for me in my personal life. And we can get into that in the get ready with me or an advice video. But you know, with everything that's going on in the world, I just pray that everything is going well for you guys, family, everyone's safe in your home and everybody is in a safe environment. Please be careful. Remember to wash your hands, um, put gloves on or cover your mat your face or even cover your cough if you are out around people. Even if you're in the home, make sure that you're still doing the same thing because you want to be safe at all times. Um, I love every single one of you and I hope everything is doing and going very well for you personally in your lives and um, in your families. And please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video if you've seen something that you know, has inspired you. And if you guys do this, like, please let me know because I would love to see how your Bantu knots show up because I haven't done Bantu knots in a very long time. And usually when I do them, they turn out like this. Um, but you know, it's been a very long time for me since I've done this and I think it came out really cute um, Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to see. I do plan on doing um, flexi rods and also um, Perm rods as well so that I can kind of get a different style and see how I can do my hair Thank you guys for watching if you would like to see any of my videos Just click the description box below or I'll put it in the cards in the top corner. I love you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being a subscriber and a supporter of Ebony Expressions and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day.